Hello everyone, today is Wednesday, July 11th. It's 11 p.m. Eastern Time. It's 10 to 6 p.m. Hawaii Time. Just getting around to making today's video. First chart today is the crude oil on the Superenco 6 tick. And you can see the timestamp here. All these bars are stamped at 10.30. That was the crude oil inventory announcement. And hence, that's why our fill is way over here because all these bars are at the same time. So we did actually get filled uh, down here and then uh, close the trade. Uh, this trade probably hit its goal or trail stopped, uh, which closed the trade. Uh, we're trailing by bars at 36 ticks. That's probably what happened. In any case, um, this had a uh, huge amount of slippage um, because of this trade here. Now, normally I turn on the news filter and start trading uh, after the news announcement, but in this case we had huge positive slippage here and this did 27.70 for the day by the time it uh, closed the trade, probably because of this big spike in price. There was also a data outage uh, in the markets today, but that was later in the day than uh, 10.30. Okay, next up is the NASDAQ on a Superenco 18 tick. This is a new time frame that I've started plotting for the NASDAQ. This hit its goal at 2,000. A lot of nice looking trades here. Notice no H next to the trades. If this chart had been refreshed, all these trades would have H next to them. So these are trades from today's session. Okay, next up is the NASDAQ on the 1597 Heiken Ashi ch uh, chart. And this is shy of its goal, but still did a 925 for the day. Okay, the crude oil on a 987 tick chart did 1060. Again, here is that uh, big spike in price at the crude oil inventory announcement. And it was just these couple of trades here that actually, we had a couple of losers, and we were actually drawn down about 800 and then managed to. Um, uh, get that back with part of, catching part of this move. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a Superenco 4 tick with a higher time frame filter of 6 tick uh, did 1,037 for the day. The goal on this one is 1,050, so obviously hit its goal. Okay, the DAX on a Superenco 14 tick did 1,237.50. It looks like we had an equity high of about 1100 on this chart and then settled in at 1237. Fairly active on the DAX today. Okay, the crude on a Superenco 8 tick with our line break logic hit its goal before the announcement. So here the trades look uh, somewhat normal, not affected by uh, the announcement, and then you can see the move here afterwards, but still um, pretty nice looking chart. Okay, the gold has been pretty consistent here. Uh, did 600 today, a mixture of winners and losers. Uh, looks like the equity high was about 800 or so, and settled in at 600 for the day. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.